Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to introduce the centroid concept and to discuss the centroid formula. So in engineering, we use um, centroids to relate geometric properties to internal forces and stresses in members. So this is why we use centroids and that's why they're important. So if we look at what a centroid is, it's just effectively, it's basically just the center of mass of an object. So for simple objects like these, so we've got, um, we have this uh, just rectangle here. You can see that the centroid, the center of mass is like right in the middle. And for a circle, again, it's going to be right at the center. So it's basically just an average position of areas. So for these, we've assumed the density is sort of uniform across the whole thing. Um, so then we're going to have um, our center, our centroid at the center of the object. Um, this is this is applicable to all shapes. So we can have shapes where it's really not obvious where the centroid is. So we can have shapes. We could have a shape that looks like this, and the centroid we would have to work out using um, some kind of formula relating the sort of average amount of um, material um, compared to the distance from some arbitrary axis. So the centroid here might be somewhere up there or somewhere down there, anything like that. But we'll introduce a way to work these out. So our formula for centroids, I'll just spend some time going through this now. Um, so if we x bar, x bar is denoted as um, the distance from the um, x axis. So this is our, our centroid distance from the x axis. Sorry, that should be um, the distance, so the, the horizontal distance, because this is, um, of course, x, it's the horizontal distance from our, effectively, what's our y axis. So it's, it, it's the distance along our x axis. 